Welcome to Technoscope, the channel for all things tech and gaming hardware. Heading into the third iteration of the Xbox One with the Project Scorpio Xbox One X becoming the most powerful console ever released means the need for the most capacity ever has arrived. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. Microsoft has done something amazing that has never been done before. They made games for the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, including those free titles released every month with Xbox Live Gold, and the Xbox One titles in 4K, all available in one place, making the Xbox One X truly the one console you will ever need. Unfortunately, there will never be a console that can contain all your games in one place because adding the cost of a $500 hard drive to a console is out of the question. Fortunately, both Microsoft and now Sony have added the ability to use external storage as a means of storing games. The ability has always existed for PC games, so this guide applies to those games as well. If you own the original Xbox One, and you plan to stick with it. I have a great guide on using the Media Hub by Collective Minds, and you can see that video by clicking the link here. I also have a matching video for the original PS4 using the Don Code Game Bar, but no such device exists for the newer iterations of either console. That's why I put together this guide to show you your options. The first thing you want to decide is what's more important. Do you prefer maximum capacity or maximum portability? Not to cause any confusion, all these drives can move from one system to another. But the number of parts and the size make some options more difficult than others. For those of you looking for maximum capacity, the options are pretty straightforward. The best of which is probably this 8TB game drive hub by Seagate. It provides a whopping 8TB of storage in a very nice modern package, complete with two powered USB ports on the front, ports you can use to charge controllers or connect additional storage. That may sound crazy to you, but what if you have a portable drive and would like to take a game to a friend's house? without carrying the entire Game Drive Hub. The Game Drive Hub for Xbox One comes in eight terabyte capacity and is only available in white. Coming in at nearly the same price is the My eight terabyte MyBook Drive by WD. It gives you all the storage capabilities of Seagate without the USB ports on the front. The design is modern and stylish, but the black means it will stand out much less. The MyBook is available in smaller capacities, but you may want to consider my next recommendation if you plan to buy four terabytes or less. Seagate offers a 2.5 inch variant of the game drive, sans the powered USB hub. These small drives have a very distinct and noticeable design that screams Xbox, but with some ingenuity, I'm sure PC gamers could make it scream NVIDIA instead. The game drive is available in two and four terabyte capacities, a special edition Halo Wars two, uh, two, two terabyte variant, and an all white game pass special edition with options in two and four terabytes. The benefits of these smaller drives is the portability they bring. These drives can be easily transported from one location to another and the lack of power supply means only you only need to carry the included USB 3.0 cable. Unfortunately, if you use something like a standard unpowered USB hub, they may not work, although that's probably a rare use case for most Xbox gamers. The, mo the biggest limitation is capacity, although four terabytes will still hold quite a few games. Seagate makes one other drive, which brings us to our final category. Solid state drives, also known as SSDs. I highly recommend against the use of SSDs on console. Unless you really love the thin and super lightweight construction, SSDs are a horrible bane for your buck when it comes to storage capacity. 
for more than what the eight terabyte game drive hub costs, you get a mere 512 gigabytes or half terabyte of capacity. In exchange for read write times, consoles will rarely take advantage of. In this demonstration, I copied Grand Theft Auto V, a notoriously slow loading game, onto the internal drive, the external eight terabyte MyBook, and a super fast Samsung T5 USB 3.1 Gen 2 SSD. After performing a full reboot each test, all three devices load the game in nearly the same amount of time. I strongly suggest you use your money on for more capacity unless you really desire the portability. If you are set on using solid state storage, I have included the links for the game drive for Xbox SSD, a WD My Passport SSD, and a 512 gigabyte PNY flash drive, which sacrifices a tiny bit of transfer speed for even more portability with no need for a cable. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask in the comments below. If you feel there's something I should look at not mentioned in this video, feel free to leave that as well. I hope you found this guide useful. My name is Elemento, and this is Technoscope. Technoscope is a Twisted Curve production.